Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 34 on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest. This is a fun one involving geometry, specifically with polygons. Those are those two-dimensional closed shapes. Let's start by reading over number 34 and taking in the information and solving the math, okay? Start by reading it over. It says, Use the statements in the diagram below to answer the question that follows. They give us two statements. The first one is the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. The second statement, the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular to each other. And then they give a picture here of a rhombus. You'll notice here uh, rhombus is really the central uh, concept here. And this is a picture of a rhombus. And let's just re recall a rhombus, it's a closed four-sided polygon. Uh, with a rhombus, the si all the sides are equal. And now this is giving us a little bit more information about a rhombus, like talking about the diagonal. So let's, uh, let's draw in the diagonals to this picture. That's these lines here. And it says two things about the diagonals of a rhombus. The first is that they bisect each other. Now bisect means it cuts it in half in equal segments. So this first diagonal here, it's, it's 30 inches, is that right? Well, it's bisected, which means that this half of it is equal to this half. So if this is total 30, that means that this part is 15, and this part is 15, and the top part, which is a total of 40, well, it's bisected too, which means half of 40 is uh, this one right here. It's equal to this right here. So half of 40 would be 20, and this would also be 20. And then it says that it's perpendicular. Now perpendicular means that these diagonal lines intersect each other at 90 degrees. So if we were to pull out, uh, I'm hoping you see this triangle here. If we were to pull out that triangle here, well we know that there's 90, it's 90 degrees, it's got a base of 15 and a height of 20. And there's four of those triangles, is that right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the gist. Okay, now let's get to the problem itself. It says a window is being manufactured in the shape of a rhombus, shown above, and its height will be 40 inches and its width will be 30 inches, just like the one above. If the window is to have a single pane of glass, how many square inches of glass will there be? So what that's saying is this whole thing is going to be one slab of glass. Is that right? One single pane of glass. And then it says how many square inches. Now usually when we're talking about units squared, we're talking about the area. So this problem here, it wants us to find the area of this whole rhombus. Now, in doing the original part of the problem, we divided into four triangles, and we found out the dimensions of each one of those triangles. So in order to find the total area of this whole thing, what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of one triangle, and then we're going to multiply it by four, because there's four of these sections. Does that does that make sense? All right. What's that area, area formula of a triangle? The area of a triangle is equal to, oh yeah, one half base times height. In this case right here, our triangle, this one right here, we could say has a base of, we're going to take half of whatever the base is, 15, times the height, 20. Let's see, half of 15 times 20. Well, well uh, 10, times, 10 times 20 would be 200. So 15 times 20 is 300. We're taking half of 300 to get the area of this triangle. Let's see, half of 300 is 150 inches squared. I know that we, we didn't put the inches squared in until now, but it's, it's good to always pause. And, and once you come up with something that's kind of concrete, 150, it's good to be like 150 what? Oh, 150 inches squared. Well, is that the answer? Because look, A says 150. It's very tempting right now to say A is the answer. We just found the area of this triangle right here with a base of 15 and a height of 12. We've got to remember that there's four of those. Each is 150. So if there's uh, four of those glass panes, each one's 150. I'm going to do 150 times four. We got 600 what? 600 inches squared. That's the area of the total single pane, meaning the area of not just one triangle, but all of them. This one here, and this one here, and this one here. Okay team, the answer here is C. 
This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Have a great day, team. Take care. Bye-bye. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year we're holding workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.